What's going on YouTube? Bowden the Great with another farming guy, but in this one we'll be talking about the best way to farm for lightstone. Um, it's a little bit more difficult than Dark Essence or really any resource in the game for that matter just because, you know, you can't actually buy it outright with gold and it's a little bit more tedious to find because they are a rare resource. Um, but yeah, before we get into that though, as always, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss out on any of this great lens content and guides, as, and it also supports me, which I always appreciate. Um, getting into it, though, um, the first thing that you're going to kind of want to make sure, especially if really the only thing you have left in the game to do is farm for lightstone before you can, you know, unlock the rest of the uh, different weapons and tools, um, is go to Eduardo, and he'll usually have a rotating inventory of stock and buy the... Uh, the exotic feather shield it's going to run about 2500 coins and it is the last item that you can buy um and if, you, if you're not aware of how his his or how him and the other merchants inventory works basically as you buy it they'll it'll basically restock and go to the next item so it's not a random thing um you have to buy the first things uh, the things that he sells first and to get to the to the feather shield which is kind of unfortunate because the fe the feather shield and actually the the blade um the, i'm not going to try to pronounce that um but these are actually the last two items so you have to buy and then wait multiple over the course of multiple days because usually it's a it, it, t it takes time for them to restock so um but talking about the feather shield it actually makes you run fi faster you can actually see down below um speed modifier is 1.2 times so you run a little bit faster which is great because you're going to be able to kind of just zoom through the cave um the, the the caveat with that though is that your blocking your passive blocking is minus 30 percent so you actually take more damage um which is kind of okay because you're not going to be farming and you know really running through or excuse me you're not going to be farming and fighting a lot as much you're going to basically just sprint past the enemies and if you see lightstone, you know, kill what you have to kill just so you can harvest it and then get going. Um, but let's go ahead and hop on over to the cave. Um, I'm going to start actually at the elevator entrance. If you don't have that unlocked yet, I have another YouTube video and showing you how to do that. But yeah, let's jump on over there. Alrighty, so we are at the elevator now. Um, the other part is that you're going to want to have the backpack lamp because it makes it a lot easier to navigate the corrupted, pass the, the corrupted passage because um, that's where we'll be starting the kind of the first part of the farm that I usually go to. Um, I'm gonna be there'll probably be some kind of cuts as I'm, you know, killing off guys because of just how kind of overwhelming it gets um, sometimes. If you actually do find a light source down there or a lightstone, excuse me. Um, but yeah, so pretty much you're gonna want to just not stop to attack all, all, any of these guys. I don't believe there's any no spawn nodes right there. Um, but we'll keep on heading down to the corrupted, corrupted passage, and you'll see the lights start dimming here soon. All right, so first part, let's check up here. Fingers. I did kill some of these guys up here earlier. Um, but yeah, we have a light stone here. Normally there's, there's going to be guys here, but um, I did come up here and kill these guys first. Um... But yeah, so that's some there, and then kind of just keep running through. The tricky part of this is the fact that you've got the Feather Shield, which you take more damage, and also dealing with the... If you're running through this, all these guys are, kinda, are gonna kind of group up. Or navigate the trap. Beautifully done. Oh yeah. And we're gonna head up here. No stuff down there. Because right up here to the right is the warp stone. I was oh, I was like, wow, I got lucky, and none of them, none of them are attacking me. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's kind of difficult, and you know, honestly, if someone else has any other better suggest, whoop, any other better suggestions for how to farm lightstone, because I haven't seen anything else. This is just what I do for the time being, um, to try and find lightstone. Because pretty much that's all I've got left to farm. But it is. A little bit more of a rare resource. Ah, wow, this is actually going to be very difficult. All right, so we are back. I had to kill those guys because this was I was about to get way too overwhelming. You don't want to see me fight these guys, fight all that entire group for you know however, however much time. So yeah, pretty much once you get your lightstone, that that was a fairly successful run given 
that it's pretty damn rare. Um, also, the other important thing too is that you want to be hitting your crits. And th having this pickaxe, the forge pickaxe, is really nice too because you have a 80% crit resource bonus, meaning that 80% chance to gain an additional resource as you hit it. Um, so that's definitely clutch. So now I've got that, and I'm gonna just basically warp back. And that's really it. Um, unfortunately, there really isn't a great way. You just have to dig deep into the cab into the caverns to find lightstone. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not even sure if anyone really knows how um, how many in-game days lightstone spawns back. But it is a rare resource. So the only other real option you've got is to run through the cave in general. Um, I like to check out the deeper parts. So here's the entrance of the cave right here, and, and I'll link this uh, link in. The description as well so you can you know use this to sort of help navigate through the dungeon but pretty much you know this is the entrance and you want to kind of get to the deeper portions here's the corrupted area which is why there's so much uh lightstone is because you know this is probably the deepest as deep as it gets um but pretty much i like to start here run all the way down um all the way to where you find the forged axe which is right here and then come back through, run through the dead center, back up to basically the beginning of it. And then if I'm really only literally needing lightstone at this point in time, I'll come right and then I'll run back all the way down through and then meet back at this warp stone. And then I'll warp back and normally by then just run to the elevator, take the elevator back and run through it again. And then take the warp stone and just keep doing that over and over and over again until I have the amount of light stone I need. I'm not gonna actually run you through and have you watch me run through because that's it's just, you know, 10 minutes pretty much to just run through the cave without, maybe best case we'll find two light stone nodes after doing that. But <clears throat> yeah, like I was saying, the light stone is a really rare resource. So it's not, you know, gonna be very, easy to find a bunch of it all at once. Um, but anyways, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please do not forget to like and subscribe as it supports my channel. All right, peace out, YouTube.